Hey, good evening, friends. So for tonight's Unis Honest video, I thought I'd do something different because the Unis Honest video is called Mark Steele's Ethan's Face. I thought I'd wear a mask while I do my video, kind of as a little PSA. Do still wear your masks. Um, COVID is out there, especially in the U.S. It's like just ridiculous. Like other countries have their ish together. Japan did very well and didn't have to lock down because they're a culture that is very good about wearing masks. And in America here, we are in just struggling. A lot of people are dying and a lot of people are getting COVID still because people aren't wearing the damn masks. Um, so anyways, in this Unis Honest video, um, I think they like used some plaster to kind of conceal Ethan's face and um, like... I don't know, like, for what reason. It just seemed to be, like, just to make a mold of Ethan's face. Um, and they, it was a big disclaimer song about, like, don't do this, because Ethan could, like, have, you know, if he got it stuck in, like, his nose or couldn't breathe or something, then that could have been, like, a real big issue. So, like, don't do that at home. Um, but anyways, uh, do wear your masks, though. Um, you can still breathe in them. I love the memes that are, like, you know, if you say, oh, I can't breathe in a mask or whatever, then you're just admitting either that furries are stronger than you or that you've never been mm, below a woman. But anyways, I think that those are so funny. Um, but I didn't really have much to say about this one. I mean, it was like, it was interesting, I guess. But, uh, you know, they did the thing and um, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, do keep on wearing your masks and stuff. I, I always think like, it's so interesting because there's a lot of times where Americans don't wear masks and I feel like other countries have been wearing masks or suggesting to wear masks. Like I remember hearing a lot like during the beginning of um, all this stuff, um, like Italy, I think, you know, it was illegal to not be wearing a mask, even if you were outside and in public. In America, people don't wear their masks outside. I don't know how, like, contagious it really is outdoors, but I think that there's this idea that, like, oh, if you're outdoors, you, you can't really spread it to each other. But I think you still need to have social distancing um, if you are, you know, like, right up next to somebody, even outside. It's not like the fresh air is going to just make the COVID go away if it, you know, it's transferred by, um, basically, by re respiration droplets, right? So if somebody's close enough for their little spit particles to get, like, into your eyeballs... Um, you could catch it for someone. And I think it's, like, really interesting because, like, one thing that, like, kind of bothers me, I guess, is I feel like we, you know, drive throughs have been open in, in the U U.S. for this entire time, right? Like, drive through fast food and stuff. And fast food workers are, like, our most underpaid and underappreciated labor force, I would say. Um, and I feel like there has been no... Like, there's definitely been a mandate if you're indoors somewhere, you need to wear a mask. But I don't think that there's been any, like, at least in Missouri, there hasn't been any actual legislation about, like, wear your mask even if you're just going through a drive through um, And it's interesting because, like, I think about that a lot. And I try to make an effort to wear my mask even if I'm just interacting with a drive through employee for 10 seconds, you know? But um, I don't know, like, I don't know if there's been, like, any reported cases of people catching COVID through drive throughs or, you know, small interactions or, like, outdoors, like, just passing by. Um, and another thing I'll do, you know, I, I will try to go for my runs and stuff, um, go running outside. And I used to wear a mask the entire time, um, like, out of consideration. And it, it is a little difficult, I will admit, while you're running um, because the fabric will like kind of come up against your face and all that. Um, I know that a lot of people have, you know, gone and proved that your oxygen levels in your body don't really dis diminish that much if you're exercising and wearing a mask. Um, but like, I, I do have, I have a mask that I wear specifically for running. Actually, I think I have it right over here. Um, I just did laundry last night, so go me. Hooray. Hooray me for getting things done, right? <laughs> Um, but I have this one, it's kind of cool, it has like a band in the back, so when it goes over your face, this just kind of is behind my neck, and I'll hold this, I'll have this around my neck, and if I'm around somebody, then I will pull it up over my face and up over my nose, 
um, just in, in the interest, because, you know, sometimes on the sidewalk, you know, there's not enough space to socially distance. If cars are coming, you can't really walk into the street, you know. So um, I'll do that. Uh, I think it's important to just try. I, you know, I'd rather, I would rather, you know, pull a mask over my face for 10 seconds while I'm running than potentially catch or give somebody COVID. Like, I think that's a, an important thing um, to do. And I know there's a lot of misinformation there about like carbon dioxide poisoning and all these things that can apparently happen to you by wearing a mask for too long. Um, that doesn't make sense because surgeons like will be in surgery for hours at a time. You don't see their brain function disintegrating or whatever. And also I think it's important to acknowledge that, um, I think like I learned this in like an anatomy class in college, like when your lungs take in air, they only absorb so much of the oxygen in that breath anyways. So like you will, um, you'll breathe in and, and also like the air is composed of more things than just oxygen. I think if it was a straight up oxygen, like actually be very harmful to us. There's like oxygen, nitrogen, and few other, I mean, carbon dioxide is, already exists in our air. Like the plants, you know, purify like our big global scheme of, of oxygen like ratio, but um, it's not like, it's not like you're breathing in 100% oxygen anyways. And your lungs know to let, your lungs are designed in a way. So like it, it, with so many things in our bodies, like they're the interactions between molecules are designed in a very specific way um you know that's the reason why like soap works because it you know creates a barrier between the hydrophilic hydrophobic things like grease um so anyways like there, there's reasons like on a chemical level for why like carbon dioxide poisoning through a piece of fabric you know people are so concerned about these sorts of ideas and it's just like it's not it's not gonna, like, eh, you know, um, you're gonna be okay, um, and you, whenever you take a breath of air in, anyways, so yeah, like, your lungs are designed to accept, you know, be recept, like, the oxygen receptors, um, again, I haven't studied anatomy for a few years, so I couldn't tell you, like, every little detail about that, but whenever you take a breath of air in, and let's say, I can't remember again what the ratio and the percentages of about how much oxygen is in our atmosphere at all times. I think it's like 40% or something. I don't think it's the majority. I think like nitrogen and carbon are kind of like crowding it out. Um, but like, so you, so yeah, your, your lungs, you take in a breath of fresh air and there's oxygen that your lungs take in. And when you breathe that air out, you still, there's still like 20% of oxygen in that air. Now, eventually, yes, of course, if you have like a piece of plastic, like a plastic bag over your head, you will eventually consume all of that oxygen, but you're not going to consume all that oxygen in, in one breath in just a short period of time, especially with a cloth mask with good ventilation that just blocks those, sw those, those respiration droplets from getting out. Um, so anyways, I think that's important. I'm really bothered by what people call the, the chin diaper or whatever, like one of these. Um, I think that's like so useless. I hate wearing my mask like that. Anyways, like it kind of bothers me even to have that pulled out. Like even it just like the, the elastic, like just kind of bothered me just doing that for a second. Um, I don't understand that. It's like if you have it over your ears, like just put it over your nose. <laughs> it's interesting because apparently that was a big issue at um my one of my jobs I worked um at a medical campus before uh becoming officially furloughed um and like that's like a big deal I think it's very important to like like I don't I don't understand that logic um I, I hey if you if you have a reason if you can explain to me why pulling it under your chin is so popular I guess you know to breathe better I'm really not bothered by it. I was even talking with uh, somebody today about like, it's it's kind of nice with this cold weather. It's kind of like a nice little scarf for your face. It's a nice little piece of insulation. And I almost want to kind of get some of those, um, I guess they're called like running ba balaclava. Balacla I'm so sorry. I'm wrecking this word. Balaclava, is that correct? Um, one of those like, yeah, like really nice lightweight um, water wicking pieces of fabric to just have over your face when you're running. Because sometimes like, 
God, running and like breathing into the fresh open air like just makes my face that much colder. It's kind of nice having the mask, honestly. Um, so anyways, PSA, wear your mask. Um, and, you know, <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say about the title of, you know, stealing faces or anything, but it being related to a face. I know it's a little bit of a stretch and it probably would make more sense the next videos, you breathe, you die. Maybe that would have made more sense to do it then, but... I just wanted to make this PSA. I think it's very important to wear your mask and be considerate. And, you know, even if it's a short interaction or if you're outdoors, if you're, you know, within spitting distance of somebody, they can catch COVID from you. So um, we're still learning about this thing. The vaccine's still just getting out now. So I think it's very important that we continue to be considerate of one another. So that's all I got. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.